What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. So today, as you can see from the title, I will be showing you guys what I got for Christmas of 2020. I have quite a few things in front of me, but before I start the video, I want to preface it by saying um, that I am by no means bragging. I'm only showing you guys this because I think it's a really fun video to watch and we are all a little bit, a little bit nosy, a little bit curious. What do other people get for Christmas? For some ideas for possibly 2021. So I'll be showing you guys the goodies that I got. If you guys like the video, then drop me a like down below. If you're new to the channel, then subscribe. And let's get on with the video. So I want to start off the video by showing you guys what my best friend Christina got me. She came up with the most beautiful and just awesome gifts. So the first one is this cute little package. It says best gift on it. And it is this super, super cute long spoon. Before I show you guys what it says, we are basic white girls and we love watching serial killer documentaries, shows, and just listening to serial killer podcasts. So she got me this cute spoon and it says serial killer spoon on it. This cereal, as you can see, it's not spelled like a cereal killer. It's like actual cereal. I'm definitely tailored to my interests. And the next thing that Christina got for me was this super cute, it's an infinity scarf and it has more like fall winter colors. So it has this, um, a burnt orange and then this uh, little like turquoise color. And it's really warm. Oh, I love it. I think it's like... It's super cute, I love scars, and I love how the color is definitely like fall and winter oriented. It is a very, very warm scarf, and I just think it's super cute. I love layering these under a big jacket. So, thank you, Christina. The last thing that Christina got me, and I am so obsessed with this. So, she got me this really big framed picture of us. This is actually the night that we kind of became best friends. We went out together. Uh, we went out, I guess it was a girls night out in the town. So it's just a really good memory. I already put it up in my room and it's just really nice to like look at and see your bestie and yourself hanging on your wall together. So thank you, bestie. Thanks, Christina. These, these gifts are just like absolutely phenomenal. So the next thing I got um, was from Santa. I got these Beats headphones. So. Uh, I do have a pair of Beats headphones. They have like the wire attached. They're many years old and they are on their, they actually, they died. They're not even on their last life. They died like two years ago. Uh, the cord in the center is almost broken in half. It's hanging by a string. So I saw that Beats came out with this new, uh, these new like wireless headphones. Uh, and I like these a lot better than the AirPods because they can go around your ear. I just have like really funky ears or something because the AirPods absolutely do not fit in my ears whatsoever. So I like these because they are wireless and you can put them around your ear. So while you're working out, you don't have to like worry about them potentially falling out like the AirPods. And another reason why I absolutely love this is because look how heavy duty the case is. Like, it's like, I mean, this ain't going, it's not gonna break. This is absolutely perfect and it's also big enough that if it's in your workout bag, it's not going to get lost amongst the masses. And then how you charge this is also really cool. As you can see, like there's a white light that's lighting up, which means that I believe it means they have a full charge. Not totally sure. I didn't read the manual yet, but how you charge it is you put the wire in this little back socket and the case kind of just charges them automatically. So it is an electronic case. I think it's Really cool. My favorite color is green. So what color do we get? We got these beautiful green ones. It's like a sage, I would say. It's more like a sage. Very, very, very happy about this one. And we are going to be seeing a common theme here, people, with um, gym, gym things. So next thing I got is definitely more of a niche gym product. As you guys know, I am a power lifter. So squats, bench press, and deadlifts are my main focus of concern. So I got this, this guy right here. So what this is called is a slingshot. How this works is you put it right here, right above your elbows, and then when you take the bar off of the bench and bench press, this is supposed to increase the weight that you can hold by five to 10%. So I just think it's, um, it's a really good way to apparently increase your bench press 
And this is not only good for bench press because if you guys are trying to do push-ups, you can also put this on yourself and when you're doing a push-up, it helps you get more reps. So keeping along with the gym trend, I do have a gym bag, however, however, she is on her last leg. I actually have duct tape all over her. It's a bag that I used to use for sleepovers when I was like three years old. I'm not even kidding. I feel like it was a gift out of the womb for me. So my mom saw and was like, um, I didn't raise no trashy daughter. I did not. I'm gonna get her something else. So she surprised me with this cool little gym bag here. It is by the brand Deodora. Deodora, I don't really know it. I don't like a huge bulky gym bag while I am working out. So I like this one because it is compact enough where I can just open it and I can walk around the gym with it and it's not gonna be huge and get into everyone's way. Like I know Adidas has a really popular one, but that's like, so huge, I just feel like it's too bulky to carry around the gym with you. So I love this one, however I do think I'm going to repurchase it in pink because your girl's a pink girl, I do love pink. Next, I got a cool new pre-workout. It is from the uh, brand Bomar Nutrition. If you guys have ever um, seen Sarah Bomar or her husband Josh Bomar on Instagram, I'm sure you have. She has like a couple million uh, followers. They have a vegan protein line and then a few vegan pre-workouts. So this is a non-stem vegan pre-workout. The flavor is sour gummy worm. I have tried it already. I did try it already. It is good, but I do like to mix my non-stem ones with my, like mix one scoop of non-stem with a scoop of actual stem just to balance it out. And so I get some caffeine in me. The taste of this is absolutely phenomenal. The Sour Grammar Wars is not overpowering as opposed to other brands I've tried. So if you've not tried the Bomar Nutrition pre-workout, I definitely advise you to give it a go. And next along that same trend uh, from Bomber Nutrition, I did pick up four vegan uh, protein powders. Yes, Merry Christmas to myself. I got the flavors pecan pie, I got uh, banana nut bread, cherry pie, and then I think it's peanut butter cookie. And I have tried all of them. I will say that uh, peanut butter cookie is just out of this world, literally a 10 out of 10. It is one of the best, if not the best, protein powder I've ever had in my entire life. It's not too sweet, it just blends perfectly. And then cherry pie is definitely my second favorite. Cherry pie is so good. The pecan pie, I'm not too fond of. And then the banana bread is good, but it's not even comparable to the other two. So if you guys have not tried the Bowman Nutrition Vegan Proteins, no, this is not sponsored, but Sarah Josh, if you see this, please sponsor me. Please sponsor me. They are so good. I just have them plain with water or I'll mix them with something. And you're not like adding other calories um, along with the protein because you're just having it with plain old water. So you're getting, not only are you gonna get your water intake up, but your protein intake is gonna be up too. And you're gonna be having a magical, enjoyable time because this is delectable. It is delectable, people. So next was a gift from my mother and my dad, but my mom really picked them out. So I got these absolutely beautiful, I'm wearing them right now, these earrings. And they are like a gold, um, kind of like a, it looks like it's kind of feathered a little bit. It's not really a hoop, but it has that same hoop vibe. They are very light and I just think they look absolutely gorgeous. I think they spice up an outfit. And my mom said she did get it at Macy's. This is the box. So it says it's from RH Macy & Co. Fine Jewelry. Um, if you guys are interested in purchasing it for yourselves, that is what it looks like. It says 10K, so I'm assuming that means it's uh, 10 karat gold. They are very, very lightweight, um, but I'm not like too afraid to break them. And I just think they're so pretty. They are so pretty. And they're so Christmassy. I was wearing, I've been wearing them all day since I opened them from, from my mom, from Mama Claus. I have been, they have not left my earlobes. So the next thing I got was a, um, a gift card that my mom actually got my entire family. So my brothers, my dad and I, and it is just a really unique idea. We're actually going to be taking a private tour of a whiskey distillery. Now you're probably thinking, is your girl a whiskey drinker? No, I'm not. Um, whiskey makes me frisky. And we won't be with fam. We won't be with fam that day, so absolutely not. But I think it's a really awesome idea. Like just touring a distillery with the fam. 
Yes, great idea. If you guys are looking for a gift idea for your friend, your significant other, maybe you're like, oh, hopefully Whiskey makes that girl frisky and you can buy her that little, the little tour. So next I got this absolutely gorgeous winter jacket. It is in pink and it is by the brand Noise with a Z. So N-O-I-Z-E, super warm. I believe it is a Montreal, Canada brand. Best part is it is vegan friendly. Yes, it is. This is not real animals, y'all. This is this is faux fur. This is faux fur, but you know what? It feels elegant, very warm, very cute, very cute. Vegan friendly, cruelty free. Um, we love it. We love to hear it, people. We love to hear it. And the final gift that I got, uh, I it has not actually arrived here yet. It's from my younger brother, but I will put the little page on the screen right now. It is from Etsy, and it is actually this absolutely gorgeous gold necklace. And I'm just a sucker for like anything that looks like antiques. If it looks like it's from back in the day, Rose Dawson, my girl, then yes, I love it, I'll purchase her. So my brother knows this about me. So he went on Etsy and found this beautiful locket necklace and it's a heart and it actually comes out to four different pictures. And he has one picture of him and my brother, a picture of my mom, a picture of my dad, and then the fourth one is a picture of my little puppers, the little pups. So I can wear it at all times. I know I'm gonna freaking use and abuse that necklace because it is so pretty. I'm dying for it to come in just so I can basically tarnish the heck out of it because I'm going to be eating, sleeping, showering. I'm gonna be doing everything in that working out I don't even care if it's gonna weigh me down. I don't know how much it weighs. If it weighs 10 pounds, we still gonna be wearing it. I don't care, do your chain hang low? Hi, my name is Wiz Khalifa, I'm Lil Nas. I'm gonna be wearing the chains this time. So that just about sums up everything I got for Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are new, subscribe. If you like the video, drop me a like. Drop your girl a like. And let me know what you got for Christmas. What is your favorite gift that you guys got? I always love watching these videos. I just think they're so, just so fun, just so cool to watch. And get some ideas for maybe birthdays, for Christmas next year. And I'm a little nosy too, people. I am, I'm a little nosy. So let me know what you guys got down below. I'll see y'all in the next one. Deuces. Light it up, light it up.